hey hi mate this is the second part of my previous video in this video i'll show you how to patch a non gki kernel to make kernel c work so i will use book f1 kernel so let's edit the source now i'll use codium you can edit the files in beam or any text editor as per your choice let's copy the first diff code from the guide and here's the diff code the file path is fs slash exec dot c so just copy this code and paste in an empty file and also open the source file in editor okay this is the file by the way in the diff the line starts with plus means uh, we have to add that line and if there is any minus line then we have to remove that line from the source file so let's just copy and search this file in the source file uh, okay only one match found so we can add the code here just as per the diff file and also after copying remove that plus sign from the starting of the line and same as the second part of this diff this is the same function so we can add just after that uh, int well okay this is done let's uh, jump to the next file by the way you can also search for the return line and put the code above of it just like the diff okay, so let's uh, move to the next file and open the same file from source oh where it is yeah and same as we did the previous one we have to find and uh, place the code let's find this one okay no result found try another one oh the commented text okay okay one result found and it's the same one so we can place the code here just copy and paste and remove that plus sign from starting of the line okay this part is done now let's find this function do f access set Okay, do f access at is not there. Let's find this one. Okay, five results found, but we have to check which one is the correct one. Okay, so I think here is uh, another diff for that same file. Let's try this diff. by the way the change is same in both diffs the only difference is function name so let's change the source file according to this diff okay here's the change we have to put okay this is also done now let's uh, check the next file which is retry.c in the same fs folder Okay, this is the file now copy the diff and let's search something okay VFS read let's search this okay, so two changes but uh, which one is correct uh, the one without V in the end of that line I mean in the function so just let's copy the change and put here and remove the plus signs one more change have to do and this is going to be about the function so this file is also done now only two files are pending okay so let me just fast forward these two files patching we have to do the same thing like we did in these three files 
after patching and kernel compilation if the kernel boots and kernel su works then you can create your own patches with the changes using diff command and you guys can also try to patch through patch command just save the diffs in a file and you can just try to patch through patch command but first but first before applying the patches we have to run the patch command with dry run just to check if the patch file is compatible with your kernel or your source file okay so all changes are completed now here's a note and if you are manually patching the kernel then you don't need to enable key props option in menu config as mentioned in the automatic section so let's compile the kernel now say i'll use the docker container as i mentioned in the previous video i will use the second container here Oh, I forget to run the curl command which downloads kernel as your repository in the kernel source. So let's run it first. Uh, it will download the kernel as your repository and it will make the changes in kconfig and make file in the drivers folder. Okay, let's check the kernel as you entry is there. Okay, it's enabled now. Let's run make command. Okay, I got 10 error, so it should be flag instead of flags. So let's make another change. Oh, uh, let's check the wiki first. Uh, here are two diffs for a stat.c file. So let's check the second diff file if there's any other change we have to do. Okay, this diff is also same, but only S is not there in the flags. Just replace this diff and let's run it again. Okay, it's completed now time to test the kernel so just copy that image file and I will use that same any kernel 3 to create an update zip and I will flash the uh, update zip with adb side load so update zip is ready let's reboot our phone to recovery with ADB reboot recovery okay it's uh, okay it's booted now let's enable ADB site load by the way you can use TWRP to enable ADB site load okay phone is booted now Okay, I have to install that kernel as UAPK as well. So, the APK is available in kernel SU releases page. So, you can just go to that page and search for APK on that same page. Okay, here it is. Now, download and install this file. So installation completed and it's working. So let me know in the comment box if you guys have any doubts. We will try to figure it out in next video.